Welcome back to Crux Stationalis, the Roman Station Church Network. Today we head to the Roman Station Church for Tuesday in Holy Week, Santa Prisca on the Aventine Hill. The church is devoted to Santa Prisca, a first century martyr whose relics are contained in the altar in the crypt. It was built in the 4th or 5th century over a temple of Mithras and was subsequently damaged in the Norman sack of Rome, and the church has been restored several times. The current building is due to the 1600 restoration, which included a new facade by Carlo Francesco Lombardi. Before we head inside, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video so you won't miss our future series here at Crux Stationalis. And when you're done watching, share the video with your family and friends. In its restoration, the church was shortened and so we enter through this little courtyard which stands in front of the church. And we see this facade in brick with white travertine architectural details. There are four brick pilasters with ionic capitals flanking the entrance. We enter into the church and see the springing arches set between 14 pillars. These columns are ancient and are spolia. They are not a matching set and in the 18th century restoration they were enclosed in a box pier with the inner side open so as to display the column within. These piers support square Doric in posts and below the fronts of these are pairs of little curly cues. These columns come from different parts of Egypt, Greece, Algeria, and from the Sea of Marmara. The interior is mostly in white, but above the columns are on-framed frescoes of angels and saints by the Florentine artist Anastasio Fonte Buoni, dating from 1600. The angels hold the instruments of the Passion. St. Prisca was supposedly baptized by St. Peter the Apostle, and this event is shown in the fine 17th century altarpiece by Domenico Cristi, nicknamed Il Passiminiano. In the baptistry, there is an ancient column capital allegedly used by St. Peter as a baptismal font. Heading down this side aisle on the right of the nave, we come across the Chapel of the Sacred Heart which I find quite moving as there is also an image of Our Lady showing her heart in St. Joseph.
Thank you for joining us on this Roman Station Church itinerary and for subscribing to the channel of Crux Stationalis. There is so much more to explore in Rome and beyond, and I can't wait for you to come along with me. May the holy angels guide you as we move into the days of the Holy Triduum. And let us compassionate Christ as he suffers for you and me, as he gives of himself entirely for love of you and love for me.